I want to go over the five things that the golf club does that makes the golf ball go where it goes. Number one is the path of the club. Is it traveling to the right, straight, or left of your target? Number two, club face. Is the club face to the right, straight, or left of your target? Angle of attack. Is the club head coming down level or up? Impact point. Where do you hit that ball? On the toe, the heel, or in the center of the face? And then lastly, club head speed. Here is my friend Ed here on the left. Here's his numbers. And you can see the club head path, 0.6 left, pretty good. FTT face to the target, that's our club face, 4.4 to the right. So that should be a ball that fades and goes to the right. And now with flight scope and the environmental optimizer, we can tell where a ball should go if it was hit in the center of the face. So we can see here down here lateral that this ball should have gone 34.9 yards right of the target with that club face and that path. But notice it only went 19.4 yards right of the target. The reason is because he hit it off the toe of the club. And when you watch a, a ball hit off the toe of the club, the club face will open as it goes through impact. Mm -hmm. So there is the club face opening as it goes through impact, and that means a toe hit. And you can see here his club head speed was 102, and you can see that his ball speed 145. Smash is simply ball speed divided by club head speed. So a smash, not quite as high as he would want, but he still hit at 270. But the thing is, the toe saved him from being just in the right side of the fairway to being in the woods. So you can see how much of an influence where you hit the ball in the face is in regard to where the golf ball goes. We also can see that he hit 6.3 degrees up on the ball. So hitting up and swinging out makes someone more efficient to hit it further. It's not necessarily the way you want to go, but if we look at these five parameters, we've got an angle of attack, 6.3 up. We have the path of the club, 0 0.6, we call that zero. The face to the target, 4.4 degrees to the right or open. Club head speed, 102 miles an hour. And the last one is, where did he hit it in the face? And thanks to the environmental optimizer, we can see that his spin axis tilt was only 1.5 to the right when it was really should have been 19.1, meaning if he hit that in the center of the face, that's a pretty big block right shot. Here's another swing where you're going to see the path of the club 3.6 degrees to the right. That means 3.6 degrees to the right of the target. Notice the club face 1.8 degrees to the right of the target. And that is really perfect to center hit. That ball should end up at the hole. You can look down here lateral in the gray, thanks to the environmental optimizer from Flight Scope. It shows that ball within a yard of the target. If he hits it in the center of the face, well, the ball went 8.5 8 yards left, and that's because, again, of a toe hit. Now, notice he had much higher ball speed and he had a higher smash. So he hit this pretty close to the center of the face. So it was just slightly toward the toe, not much. And that's a pretty good shot. So eight yards left, that's just left center of the fairway. And if we watch this swing, we might not see as dramatic, but you can see he's getting his club on plane nicely coming into the ball. Here he is coming in, and you can see the club face being more stable as it went through there. So. He's uh, hit that shot much more in the center of the face. The ball uh, went slightly left, but again, it's just great to be able to look at these numbers and, and we have a better idea of what really happened at impact. So where your golf ball goes comes down to what's the path of the club head, where was the club face at impact, what was your angle of attack, where did you hit the ball in the club face impact point, and what your club head speed is. For more information, go to LarryRinker.com.